hello children this is the continuation of your previous video that is video number five this is video number six where we are going to do the answers to exercise 11.3 okay i had given you some number one two three and four to do it for your homework please check your answers properly and then write the answers in your classwork book accordingly to what i have given right now so let's start with exercise 11.3 sum number one part a now what is given out here is find the circumference of the circles with the following radius radius is given so you need to write the radius and pi is given as 22 upon 7 so let us do the first one, number A, radius is given as 14 centimeter, pi is given as 22 upon 7. What is it that you have to find? The circumference. You will have to find the circumference of this circle. Now what is the formula to find the circumference? Circumference is equal to 2 pi r unit. What is the unit given? Centimeter. So instead of unit, you will be writing centimeter here. 2 multiplied by, where there is no sign in between, it is multiplication. Value of pi is 22 upon 7. Multiplied by radius, that is 14 centimeter. Cancel whenever necessary. 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. The 2 multiplied by 22 is 44. 44 multiplied by 2 is 88 centimeter. So your circumference of the circle will be 88 centimeter. Now number B and C. Both are of the same type. Anyway, I'll just do it very quickly. This you need to write. So, we are writing for number B here. Okay. Number B, radius is given as 28 millimeter. Pi is given as 22 upon 7. Circumference is what you need to find. Now, to find the circumference here... You are going to use the same formula here. So now I'm doing number B. Okay. Same formula you will use. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r unit. So 2 multiplied by 22 upon 7 multiplied by 28. Unit given is millimeter. 7 ones are 7. 7 fours are 28. Now multiply, 2 multiplied by 22 is 44, 44 multiplied by 4, 44 multiplied by 4, 4 fours are 16, so you are getting 176 millimeter. That will be your circumference for, the, for number B. Now number C. Number C. Radius is given as 21 centimeter and pi is 22 upon 7. Circumference you have to find. So using the same formula, you are getting circumference equal to 2 pi r. So 2 multiplied by 22 upon 7 multiplied by 21. Unit is centimeter. 7 ones are 7. 7 threes are <coughs> 21. So you are getting 44 multiplied by 3, that is 132 centimeter. That will be the circumference. After each sum, draw a line without cutting the margin. After number C, draw the line cutting the margin. Do your work very neatly. Next, number 2. Sum number 2 of exercise 11.3. Find the area of the following 
circles given that radius in the first one radius is given as 14 millimeter and pi is given as 22 upon 7 okay you have to find the area what is it that you have to find area of the circle so to find the area of the circle it will be area of the circle is pi r square square unit what is the unit given here millimeter so substitute the value 22 by 7 multiplied by r square means r multiplied by r what is r 14 multiplied by 14 square millimeter which is 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 now 22 multiplied by 2 is 44 multiplied with 14 4 fours are 16 4 fours are 16 plus 1 is 17 4 and 4 6 11 5 plus 1 6 so 616 square millimeter will be the answer now all the sums are to be done in the same manner in the second one diameter is given in the second one the radius is not given the diameter is given now diameter is given as 49 meters we will take pi as 22 upon 7. Okay. Now, if diameter, remember that the area of a circle is pi r square unit. Now, diameter is not needed in the circle area to find the area. You can find the circumference using the diameter. But to find the area, you need the radius. So, radius will be, first we need to find what will be the radius now if the diameter is 49 then radius will be diameter divided by 2 that is 49 upon 2 meters leave it as 49 upon 2 meters okay so now let's find the let us find the area so we get 22 upon 7 multiplied by 49 upon 2 multiplied by 49 upon 2 square meter. You can also write it as meter square. It's the same thing. Okay. Right. Now let's see what can be cancelled. 7 ones are 7. 7 sevens are 49. 2 ones are 2. 2 elevens are 22. So you have 11 multiplied by 7, that is 77, multiplied by 49 upon 2 meter square. This number needs to be multiplied first. So multiply 77 with 49. 9 sevens are 63. 63 plus 6 is 69. 7 fours are 28. 28 plus 2 is 30 adding it 773 so you are getting 3773 upon 2 meters square now this can be divided you can divide 3773 by 2 2 ones are 2 remainder 1 bring down the 7 2 eights are 16 Remainder 1, bring down the 7. 2 8s are 16. Remainder 1, bring down the 3. 2 6s are 12. We got this. 2 6s are 12. Remainder 1, put a point, put the 0, put the point on top, bring it down 10. 2 5s are 10. So you are getting 1 8 8 6 point five meter square.
Rest is all calculations. Calculations, you should know how to do it. Your main, what is your most important point out here? The concept is how to find the area. How to find the area when diameter is given. Diameter is given, you find the radius. Diameter divided by 2 will give you the radius. And then use the formula. Rest are all calculations. Be perfect with your calculation. You will be able to do it. Next one. Sum number C. C radius is given as 5 centimeter. Here you take pi as 3.14 to find the area. Okay. We will take pi as 3.14. So area of the circle will be given by pi r square square unit. What is this will be 3.14 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 square unit. What is the unit here? Centimeter. Which is equal to, now let's do the multiplication. 3.14 multiplied with 5. 5 fours are 20, 7, 5 threes are 15. Two places of decimal, so I put it out there. Now again multiply it with 5, 0, 7 fives are 35, 3, 28, 2, 7. Two places of decimal, so what will be your answer? 78.5 square centimeter. That will be the answer, okay? Just 78.5 centimeter. Either 35, 35, either 25. Hmm. Right. So now, the next one, that is number 3. Question number 3 will be what is given is, if the circumference of a circular sheet is 154 meters. So what is given? Circumference. Circumference of a circular sheet is given as 154 meters. Find its radius. So you have to find the radius as well as find the area. Area also you need to find and pi is given as 22 upon 7. So here since the circumference is given, from the circumference you have to find the radius. Once you find the radius, then only you can find the area. So let's take the formula. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r. To find the radius, radius will be circumference divided by 2 pi. Because 2 pi is multiplied with radius. So to find the radius, it will be circumference upon 2 pi. Which is equal to, what is circumference? 154. Multiply by 2 multiplied by, what is pi? 22 upon 7. Upon 7 is divided by 7. So when you do the multiplication, 7 will come on top. Dividing by a fraction is multiplying the reciprocal. So I have multiplied the reciprocal of 22 upon 7. That is 7 upon 22. Now if I divide this, say with 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 7s are 14, 2 7s are 14. 11 twos are 22, 11 sevens are 77. So what is your radius? 49 upon 2 meter will be the radius. Okay, leave the radius as 49 upon 2. Now we need to find the area. Therefore, what we have found out here, radius is 49 upon 2 meter. Now we find the area. 
how do we find the area? Area is pi r square square unit. Pi is 22 upon 7. Radius is 49 upon 2. Multiplied by 49 upon 2 meter square. We have done the same type of sum previously. Again, I said it is just the calculation. 2 11s, 7 1 7 7. So you are getting out here 3 8 8. Uh, 388 3 upon 2 meter square. I think it's that only. 2 1s are 2, 2 7s are 18. 32 plus 2 3 8. 3 6 6. 3 6 6 3. 3 1s are 3. 2 1s are 2, carry 1, 2 8s are 16. Again, I'm very sorry. And this should have been 3 7 7 3. 2 8s are 16, 2 8s are 16, 2 6s are 12.5 meter square. That will be the answer 1886.5 meter square. Okay, right. The last sum. That is sum number four. Very quickly we will do it. A gardener wants to fence a circular garden. You have a circular garden. This is your garden. Now where do we fence a garden? Do we fence it in the area or do we fence it in the boundary? The fence is usually put in the boundary. So this is where the fence will be. Okay. Fencing will be in the boundary. Right. The garden has a diameter of 221 centimeters. Find the length of the rope he needs to purchase. Now, length of the rope that he needs to purchase means that to do the fencing, he has to put rope also accordingly. That makes two rounds. So, we need a rope that goes once this way. That is one circumference. And then the second round also. So, how many circumference are we going to get? Two. So, Length of the rope required will be 2 times the circumference because the fencing is done on the circumference. So, length of the rope required is 2 times the circumference. So, let's see. Also, find the cost of the rope if the cost is rupees 4 per meter. Now, let us see what is given first. Diameter is given of this garden. This is question number four. Diameter of the garden is given. What is the diameter given as? 21 meters. Okay. You have to find the length of the rope. Okay. So, and what is given? Pi is given. As 22 upon 7. Also cost. Cost of fencing. Because this is what we have to find. Cost of fencing that is. Not the fencing. We are going to take the rope. What are we using to do the fencing? Rope. So cost of the rope. Per meter is given as per meter is rupees 4. Okay. Now you need to first find, what do we have to find? Length of the rope. This is what you are finding. Now where are we using the rope? Going around the circumference. So length of the rope is equal to what? 
two times the circumference. Why two times? Because how many rounds it is making? Rounds made is two. So how many rounds are we making? Two rounds. So the length of the rope will be circumference. Length of the rope will be two times the circumference. So let's do the working now. After you write all this, the working is made. What are we finding first? Length of the rope. And what did I say length of the rope is? Two times the circumference. Two times the circumference means 2 multiplied by 2 pi r. Okay, but since the diameter is given, how do we find the, the circumference? Diameter, if it is given, then it is 2 pi d. Circumference of a circle, when the diameter is given, it is pi d. How many rounds it is making? 2 times. So 2 pi d will be the length of the rope, that is unit. So 2 multiplied by 22 upon 7 multiplied by 21 meters. Because 21 is the diameter. 7 ones, 7 threes. So 44 multiplied by 3. 3 fours are 12, 3 fours are 12. So what is the length of the rope required? 132 meters. Okay. Now once you know the length of the rope, you are going to find the cost of the rope. Cost per meter is rupees 4. Therefore, cost of 132 meter will be rupees 4 multiplied by 132. That is equal to rupees 4 2 is 8, 4 3 is 12, 4 once 4 plus 1 is 5. So 528. So now your final answer. Final answer will be therefore length of rope required is 132 meters and it's Cost is rupees 528. That will be your answer here. Now do all the four questions in your classwork book. Very neatly draw a line and then do your work. Okay. Right. Now prep for today. Now, today's prep will be exercise 11.3, sum number 5, 6, 7 and 8. 5, 6, 7, 8, which we will discuss it tomorrow. That's all for today. Goodbye and have a nice day. Please do your homework in your, write the answers in your classwork book. Goodbye, children.